Hey, what's up? This is Brian Hunt Music of BrianHunt-Music.com and I'm coming with another Ableton Live tutorial on how you can achieve the tape stop effect. Now, there's uh, two ways that you can do this. I'm gonna, first, I'm going to show you a quick way. I'll just preview the clip real quick. This is a loop I got from a pack that I bought not too long ago. So, I'll play this clip real quick. That's part of the clip. So what you want to do when you uh, go into Ableton Live, you want to highlight the area that you're going to start your pitch pen. So I'm going to start it at this end point here. And then you're going to come down, make sure your clip is selected. You're going to press this E right here for envelopes. So I got the envelope selected. And then you got the clip selected here in your envelopes and make sure this is select. This second drop down box is selected for transposition modulation. So now the area that we got highlighted. Okay, yeah. The area that we have highlighted, we can go ahead and start adding in little semi notes or dots or whatever you want to call it so i'll add one here you just select it once if you want to drag it up or down click and hold and then you can drag it up or down so i can do it like that so now we're going to play that out and see how that sounds delete these I may have done this a little bit early I'm gonna start my pitch pen here now let's see how that sounds Okay, so that's how you would do it with an audio clip. And that pretty much works there. The second way. Hold on, let me show these are all deleted. The second way that you would do this is you would come up, you would highlight the area that you want to pitch bend. I was going to get a sampler device, drop it in here, and I'm going to take the area that I highlighted, and I'm going to drop it into the sampler, and then I'm going to delete this part that I highlighted up here, because we're not going to need that part. So now I would take, I will highlight the area, this area here that I highlighted here. I'm going to insert a MIDI clip just for that area in the, from the sampler device. And I'm just going to go in and draw a note for C all the way through. And now Hold on one second. Okay, here we go. You double clip on your clip. Same thing, select envelopes, MIDI channel. Make sure this is selected on pitch bend and you would do the same exact thing. 
I'm going to add in my notes. Now let's see how that sounds right now. So that works. It's a little bit, it jumps a little too dramatic. I will probably edit this a little bit more, but I hope you understand the idea of how to get the tape stop effect. I think that with the audio clip, it was a little bit more authentic and it blended well with the audio clip. But these are two different ways that you can achieve the tape stop effect in Ableton Live. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, comment down below, and let me know what other tutorial you would like to see in Ableton Live 9. I'm gonna try to continue to update this channel every day every week with new content on ableton live subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and um like it yeah let me know what you want to see next um if you're an artist go ahead to brianhunt-music.com i got a deal going on for beats buy one get two three get two free just add three beats all of the same pricing option to your cart discount will automatically kick in. I'm going to be working on some kits for producers. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. Like us on Facebook at Brian Hunt Music 1, Twitter, Brian Hunt Music, Instagram, Brian Hunt Music. I thank you for watching. I appreciate your time. Peace.